humility is subject to many misconceptions. And they really illustrate why so many leaders lose or never possess humility. Who wants to be viewed as weak, slow, or manipulated? As a consequence, leaders become overly obsessed with outcomes and control, and therefore treat their employees as a means to an end. This in turn creates fear, fear of not hitting targets, fear of losing bonuses, fear of failing. Then people stop feeling positive emotions and their drive towards innovation is stifled. I think humility is a superpower. It is the ability to serve something bigger than yourself because hubris always serves itself, even when it appears to serve others. It comes with honesty, arrogance, lies, and misleads to protect image, status, and positions. Humble leaders look in the eye and speak the truth with kindness. It comes with the willingness to learn because while arrogance appears or pretends to know, humility learns, benefiting from mistakes and failure. If it is a superpower, how can you assess whether someone possesses it? For example, during an interview, humble leaders don't wear a cape and fly. Here's a list of things to look and ask for. Do they credit others? If a candidate fails to acknowledge the contributions of others in helping to achieve their success, that's a red flag. Do they admit to mistakes? A humble person not only admits to making mistakes, they seek to understand what they did wrong and what they should change going forward. Be especially careful of candidates who blame others and exempt themselves from responsibility. Do they accept constructive feedback? Does the candidate admit to receiving criticism in previous jobs? How did they respond? Ideally, the candidate will acknowledge the validity of the feedback and demonstrate a thoughtful response. Do they strive to overcome their weaknesses? We all have skill gaps. Has the candidate recognized their own and sought to improve? Do they help others? In prior jobs, did the candidate demonstrate that they cared about their direct reports, gave them the tools and training and helped them advance their careers? We often tend to be impressed by the charismatic candidates, those with powerful personalities and a commanding presence. Sometimes it is worthwhile to dig deeper, search for the quiet confidence, humility, and a focus on others.